Hi everybody. Yeah, the Twitter story has uh, been quite an insane ride the last two years. We went from a couple thousand users uh, two years ago, mostly tech savvy users telling each other what they had for lunch, to today over 100 million users coordinating uprisings in Iran, taking pictures of planes landing in the Hudson River, um, and last week even the president of Russia came to our office to send his first tweet. Truly incredible. Um, one of the cool things about Twitter is that we have mobile DNA. So the service started as a mobile service. It actually started as an SMS service, hence the 140 character limit. And today we have over 50% of our active users use Twitter on a mobile phone. So when we started talking to Qualcomm about the Brew uh, mobile platform, we got really excited about this concept of a smartphone for the mass market. And so we decided that if you were to marry the Brew mobile platform with Twitter, the ultimate content source for finding out what's happening in real time, we thought we could make, put our resources behind a really compelling Brew MP application and uh, get that out in the market, and, and I think users are going to love it. Advantages in that effort. It really provides, I think, an unprecedented combination of processing performance and optimized power consumption for the next generation of mobile devices. We have over 140 product designs now in progress, so there's really, really strong market momentum out there for this platform. Now there's a lot of functionality that we put into the Snapdragon chipset. It, it features this enhanced CPU that supports today processing speeds of a, a gigahertz. And now we've announced a dual CPU chipset with up, up to 1.2 gigahertz that's now sampling to device manufacturers. So, Snapdragon really is making mobile computing a reality, and you can obviously see that now in this broad array of smartphone set of powers. It's also helping to drive the emergence of a new device category, the smartbook. Now, smartbooks are optimized to op offer mobile entertainment, multimedia, and an always connected user experience. And these things are going to come in many forms. It can be like a tablet shape or a more traditional clamshell device that looks more like a network. But essentially, what it is is a highly advanced mobile phone with a large display and keyboard. And it has a very long battery life. Whether it's open or closed, it's really, it's gonna be synchronized all the time. The thing is always on the network. So one of the first commercial examples of Snapdragon-powered smartbook is a new compact AirLife 100 that runs on Android. And one other thing that we're really focused on for power is working to reinvent the mobile display with our Mirasol technology. Because it's pretty clear that people are spending much more time looking at their phone than talking into it. So the display has become a really critical piece of the puzzle. Because traditionally, I mean, it's representing a significant battery drain in your, your device. So we have to fix that if we're going to deliver on this vision of devices that are going to last all day without having to recharge your battery. We've seen probably e-reader devices like the Kindle that feature e-ink displays. And they're doing a good job of delivering longer battery life. And Mirasol is also a reflective display technology, and it delivers very, very long battery life, but it has the added advantage that it does full color and full motion video. And since it's based on a reflective technology, it can be viewed outdoor without the typical glare or washout that you get with existing display technologies. Okay, another big wow factor for mobile phones is obviously the graphics. So Adreno is Qualcomm's custom graph processing unit that's integrated into our Snapdragon solution and uses our best-in-class 2D and 3D graphics technology that allows developers to deliver better-looking games, better user interfaces, and more. So games that are developed on our Snapdragon solution offer a mobile gameplay experience that's on par with console quality games, of what the Adreno GPU enables. You can see there's a whole new generation of user interfaces and games that are coming out. And the images are high resolution, the graphics are very complex but, but sharp, and the motion is very, very smooth. And that's super important because consumers are now really used to having these high quality graphics on their home systems. And with Snapdragon and the Adreno GPU, there's no compromise now on your mobile phone too. 